This One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team. The majority of New Zealanders support the introduction of a minimum alcohol price. That's according to our latest One News Colmar Brunton poll. Our political reporter Michael Parkin has the numbers. It's a result that stunned even those in favour of setting a minimum price for alcohol. Well, I have to be honest and say that I was surprised, but pleasantly surprised. I think people have finally cottoned on to the fact that we have to do more than just look at the age. We actually have to look at some serious interventions. The latest One News Colmar Brunton poll showing the majority of people are in favour of giving cheap booze the chop. When asked if they support setting a minimum price for alcohol, 54% of voters said yes, 42% said no, only 3% were unsure. Is it appropriate in this day and age that would most New Zealanders accept that you can buy alcohol cheaper than you can buy water and buy milk? And I suspect that they'd say no. In particular, the poll shows 62% of female voters approve of minimum alcohol pricing. The regime would set the lowest price at which a standard drink could be sold for in supermarkets and bottle stores and would likely spell the end for bottles of wine under $10 and budget spirits. But the Justice Minister doesn't buy the poll results. If you ask people if they want to have their $10 bottles of wine, suddenly have to be $16 bottle of wine, and for the profits to go straight into the po pockets of the alcohol industry, I think the answer would be something different. Despite the public support, Judith Collins says the minimum alcohol pricing clause will not be included in the alcohol reform bill when it comes back before Parliament in the next few weeks. Michael Parkin, One News. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team.